Good morning, Trinity.
the joy comes in the morning. And when the ocean breaks, I don't have to be afraid. Because I know that you love me. Your love never fails.
now sing with us. And all that I am, I place into
I'd rather be There's no place I'd rather be There's no place I'd rather be Here in your love Here in your love No place I'd rather be no place I'd rather be no place I'd rather be Here in your love Here in your love Set a fire down in my soul That I can't contain That I can't control I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God.
serve an awesome God this morning. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. The worship team good, did good this morning? Yes. Amen. I guess I have a habit of moving it up, huh? Get some lights there. <clears throat> uh, I'm really proud of the, of the worship team. Uh, a few months back, I was challenging uh, Stacy that uh, she needed to, to pick up some of the, the vocal leadership. And, uh, and let's just say she was stretched. And, uh, <clears throat> and so I, I was very pleased to see that she was doing the, the leading this morning. Um, we have some very talented young worshipers. Amen? Yes, amen. amen. And uh, yes. I'm excited to see how, how they are developing. A lot of people may not know the story, but several of, several of these were uh, very adamant <laughs> that they couldn't sing, that they had no gifting, and uh, they were struggling. And, uh, you know, I just have this subtle approach of encouraging people. You know, cha challenging, challenging them beyond where, where they, they, they think they are or what they, they think they can accomplish. And so, uh, so I'm, very, I'm very pleased. There she is. <laughs> I'm probably going to hear about it afterwards, but, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm very proud of this team. Um, our friend Danielle, when uh, she came to help with the auditions, and uh, I think one of the weekends that I was out, uh, she came with Becky, and so just sh when she saw the group and how far they had come just from the auditions, she was very pleased. And this is what she does all the time. She's trained in, in, uh, in music and stuff, so she had some very good, good things to say about the team. A um, <clears throat> couple announcements this morning. Um, first of all, yesterday we had the breakfast with Santa, and uh, it was a pretty good turnout. Amen? Yes. And... Uh, I want to thank I want to thank all of the the team that uh, that came together to decorate the church, clean up the gym, decorate the gym, 
And then uh, I, I heard many of them didn't get to bed um, until like 3 or 4 in the morning. And then they were back up here about 7.30 to uh, start prepping for, uh, for the event. And so uh, I'm grateful and I am thankful for, for this team that, is, that comes together. And uh, what, what's really touching my heart is the ones that are coming up that may not have done things in the past, you know, for whatever reasons, not, not judging, just they're stepping in because they want to be a part of what's going on. And that's, and that's amazing, you know, because that means that you, you have a church that, uh, that's starting to grab hold of the vision. That uh, this event that we were doing was not for our church, but it was for the community. It was for the people. And so uh, I am grateful. So the gym looked great. The church looks good. Everything got cleaned up. Um, Becky and I don't know. We don't know how to not do things. And so uh, when we came in, there was a lot of things that were already going. And we're like, uh, okay, what do we do? You know, we're kind of standing around trying to look for that thing to do. And then someone said, Pastor, I need this. And I'm like, Pfft. I mean, I barely even said yes, and I'm already out the door, you know, trying to go grab that stuff. So I kept running around, and then afterwards, um, uh, they were, uh, David was loading up all the chairs, and then I went and grabbed my truck, and I started throwing tables in there and stuff. And, uh, and someone said, hey, they said, thank you for helping us clean up. I'm like, why, why are you thanking me? I'm, I'm part of the church too, okay? Yes. Amen. Am I not? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure that I'm part of this church too, okay? That, that, I, that I, get to, I get to work, I get to clean, I get to scrub, okay? We're good with that? Yes. Will y'all allow me to do that? Okay. Yes. What's that? Oh, yeah, you can have it in writing. <laughs> you can have that in writing. Hey, I have no problem slinging a toilet brush. I can never ask someone else to sling a toilet brush that I won't grab myself. Amen? Amen. So thank you all very much. Uh, just a few other announcements before I get started. Um, there is going to be a parade float prep meeting right after church. So if you're going to be part of that, Please stay. Um, Sister Terry is going to uh, coordinate that because um, so, I know you guys have quite a bit of planning to get done between now and Saturday. Um, so right after service. And we have worship practice tomorrow, midweek service on Wednesday. Thursday is worship practice and church cleanup. As I mentioned, the, church, or the parade for the city will start at 6.30 p.m. on Saturday. And uh, more details to come. Last thing is, um, I know we... Uh, we had reached out to the church um, to pray for, uh, for Brandy and uh, her family. And so I've been trying to keep updates. And I know some we, we posted on, on Facebook as, as much as we can, felt comfortable to, to post. Uh, so some didn't know, but her brother did pass away on Thursday. And the, the funeral is going to be on Tuesday. And so uh, we just need to continue to pray for the, the family, um, particularly the, he, he had two daughters three daughters. He had three daughters, and so we need to make sure that we keep them lifted up in prayer as they continue to go through this, this time. Uh, and so we as a church, uh, we want to love on them. We want to continue to pray for them. Um, sometimes it's really hard what to do during these times, you know, and I've, I've even mentioned, I said, in, in, in over 6,000 years of humanity, we still don't know how to grieve. <laughs> We still don't know how to express grief. We still don't know how to, to walk through it with, with each other. So sometimes, you know, we, we say things that, with the best of intentions, and sometimes they just don't come out right. So the biggest thing that we can do is love and pray. Amen. Amen. But if you feel that, uh, um, that you want to do something, um, Becky and I have always been advocates that if, if the best thing to do is something that will go on far beyond what's going on. Flowers are beautiful. And florists make a lot of money during funerals. I said, but sadly, they die. Okay? And so uh, we talked to Brandy briefly this morning and uh, mentioned that if we want to do anything, uh, we were going to do um, from the church uh, a gift to the American Heart Association in memory of Robert Mendez. And so if you feel compelled um, the same way, when my mother passed away, uh, we told people to give in memory of her to the foundation for the disease that she had that she died from. And that is a, that is a, that is a gift that is longer lasting. And, uh, and if, it can bring, if it can bring comfort and healing to other people, then it, 
it's, it's what we are. And I think that's one of the best ways that we can, we can help grieve with the family and stay with the family. So um, that's the update on that. <clears throat> and just continue to pray for them and encourage them. Ron? We do. Oh, that's good. Um, well, we have another week. But we do have, yeah, I didn't put it in here. Thanks for reminding me. Um, on the 15th, we are having a youth event, an impact youth event. So LaDonna Sanders, remember Captain Rex, they're going to be here. Um, it's, a, it's our sectional event, so we have four or five uh, churches in our section, and so we're, we're going to host it, and uh, they're coming here. Um, they've already, she's already made plans for a worship team to come and, and bring from Cuero to do worship. Uh, she's going to bring the word. We're, we're hosting it. So that is at 7 o'clock on the 15th, Thursday the 15th. So uh, I've already talked to David, and uh, David's kind of on point on that since he's, the, he's our youth guy in training, and so he's already coordinated, I think, with Sister Terry or... Uh, and I asked him to coordinate with, uh, with Shirley. So if you need some more information, but um, we need to get as many people as possible to that uh, youth. And when I say youth, this impacts its student ministries. So that's any school age student is, uh, is able to be here. Too often when we say the word youth, we think of teenagers, but no, this is, this is everyone.